The question of why do this when I could be making so much more as a lawyer in a field I already have all the skills for. It's really a matter of what it means to be alive. You want to have a living, you know, you want, don't want to just have a career, you want to live. And that's really important to me. I'm Nico, I'm 36, and I left my job as a lawyer and became a firefighter. You know, um, the first question that I have, or my first comments are, um, only women do stuff like this, largely. I can imagine a few men doing stuff like this, but I can't imagine, I cannot imagine as a man, and this is what makes men and women different. I cannot imagine as a man, um, I cannot imagine as a man making this decision. I can't. I don't care how masculine this woman is. I don't care what it is. And you know what's so funny? When they, when y'all sent me this video, because I have not watched even a, a ton, uh, even a bit of it. When y'all sent me this video, I thought, looking at this, that this was a man. I genuinely thought, just looking at this cover photo, looking at this picture right here when y'all sent it to me, I said, oh, I want to see what real men, what man is foregoing making a hundred and something thousand dollars a year in order to become a $15 an hour firefighter. But let's continue. No, 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 no. If you telling me that you are part time and working as a firefighter for fifteen dollars an hour, I'm going to tell you that that is dumb to the dumb dumb. Bad news bears. Nope. Nope. And listen, I understand that this is a woman, so women can do this type of stuff because they in their emotions and all of this other type of stuff. But I will say that this is not the move. Personally, I don't believe in this, but I want to see what the whole story is. When I got the chance to do firefighting, I didn't know that it was going to be mind altering. Hey, e, uh, ETF 42, I agree. Women can afford to live in fanny slant. Absolutely. You are. That is the exact sentiment that I believe. They can afford to live in fantasy land. Good. Like it really is. It's invigorating. There's so many new skills. It's exciting. The people are amazing. And you get to be outside. Working as a lawyer. What? All right. Wait, 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 wait. Nico. Nico quit her $116,000 a year law job in February 2020 to work part time for $15 an hour as a firefighter. So you chose to do a more dangerous job as a woman and make a fraction of the money because it's it's invigorating and it's exciting. I need to understand if this chick is a trust fund baby or what, because this sounds dumb. You spend a lot of time sitting in a chair and I have bees in my knees. I like to move around. It was not comfortable. I was gaining a lot of weight. I wasn't happy in my body anymore. And it was my mental health was certainly suffering. So I got a solution for that. Put the fork down, put the spoon down, pick up a fork. Put the spoon down and pick up a fork. Don't eat so much and then go to the gym. Yo, I thought that uh, it was some bag fumblers out here since January. This chick must be nominated for the bag fumbler of the year. This could, could quite possibly be one of the dumbest things that I've ever seen in my life. I'm honest. If she quit $116,000 a year as a lawyer because she couldn't keep the donuts out of her mouth, and it ain't like she all slim and trim. If she stand up and she take that hand away from that stomach, you're going to see something pop out of there. Come on, fam. Because of it. And I needed to find something that would allow me to have more balance in my life. So she liked the D because she got a son. She loved a D. I was able to. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This chick moved back at home with her parents because she couldn't hack it. She wanted to work part time and think that she was a man. 
And now she out here fumbling bags with her son being raised by a son husband. <laughs> she is she she is son husband. It looks like she is son husband. Uh, shout out to Gail at night. Gail at night says, uh, thank you, Gail at night. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Gail. You are awesome. Thank you for contributing to the platform and, and, and getting it in. This chick moved back to their parents and I knew that her parents had a, had money. Her parents got to have money. To support myself after quitting my job at the law firm through a few different means. My folks really helped out. They of course took they did. myself and my son in. I had some savings around $10,000 in savings. Trash. And I started my own law firm, just a very, very small law firm. This is that law firm, just me. But that allowed me to survive. Though honestly, we weren't. <sighs> this proves why women are never, ever ever going to be on the same level as men this proves why women definitively and ladies you can never be us you should never want to be us um ever she got a kid apparently she's a single mom this chick is now doing law out of her bedroom with a teddy bear she go back and move with her parents. She quit her $116,000 a year job, and now she's working part-time for $15 an hour. If this is not the dumbest bag fumble that I've ever seen in my entire life, could quite possibly be. I don't know what is. And this is why you some of y'all shouldn't be thinking for yourself. Look at this. Nico's home, home office. That is a bedroom. That ain't no home office. She is in her bedroom with a file cabinet and a teddy bear and covering up the... Uh, Oh, Jesus. Spending very much money because it was the pandemic. So, think about this, y'all. It sounds like, because it's saying her journey to, to Firehouse started while she was staying with her parents, it sounds like this is an excuse. You got to be able to read between the lines. I could be proven wrong, but this sounds like an excuse because I'm going to tell you what really happened. She probably couldn't hack it at the law firm. She's finessing y'all, telling y'all that she quit her job. She probably got fired. I'm telling you, she already had moved back with her parents. And she's talking about staying, um, her journey to the firehouse that started when she was staying with her parents. She probably got fired. And this is me, my own personal opinion of what I think. And then she decided to go out on her own. She couldn't hack it. So that's why she's saying I got my own little private law firm. And then she went and got a part-time job thinking that she was a man. I'm telling you. That's what I think is happening. The story of how I came to be a firefighter is, um, it's very serendipitous. In August of 2020, we actually had a single lightning strike. And I told you she was, <laughs> don't you tell me you losing weight as a firefighter. Don't you tell me you losing weight as a firefighter. I see what the truth is. I see what the truth is. Yeah. You got all of that booty, dude. You got all of that belly sticking out. Shout out to Eric Hassel. Eric Hassel uh, said 200 acres of land in California. They rich, rich, like multi-millionaire rich. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, you can't trick me, baby girl. I know what's under that, that pouch. I know what that kangaroo pouch do. I told you, as soon as she removed her hands from in front of her stomach, all of that was coming out. You can't, you can't trick us. You can't trick us, baby girl. I know what I'm looking at. You can't trick us. I know, I know where it is where that, that kangaroo pouch is. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Get it in, baby. They said that's Melvin Johnson said that's baby fat. <laughs> it started a little fire. Right up there on our property. Just up on that hillside. The mountains. They own all of that? Jesus Christ. Mountain. And very quickly, some firefighters came in from town and they started climbing up the hill. And we're like, why? Why? They, there's a fire road that goes up and around. It goes almost straight to where the lightning strike had happened. So my mom and I, we put on a backpack and hiked on up after them and showed them where the fire road was. And that's how I met Josh Jones, who is Captain Josh Jones, who is the one who showed me how to get involved with our local fire department. The dedication that each and every one of you have done, and thank you so much. 
Once I started in the fire academy, it was it was like fireworks. It's such a dynamic career. You're constantly learning new skills. You're working with wonderful people. You're helping people. You're doing all of these um, really incredible things and having all of these crazy experiences. And you get to be outside a lot, which I really, like I can't be tied to a desk anymore. I just can't do it. A typical day working as a firefighter, I would call the stations and I say, hey, you know, do you guys have, have room for me today? And then whoever. No, nah, that is too bold. That is too bold. You calling every day talking about, hey, you guys got room for me today? Hey, you got a job for me today? No, nah, man, this is too bold. She too bold. Too stale. Too stale. Let me see what's going on. This chick is bold. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. At all. Nope. Nope. Not at all. Calling at the fire station every day talking about, hey, you got room for me? What, me while you living in that little bold room with your son, raising him as a single mother? That's too bold. Whoever, whoever wants to take me on uh, will have me come to their station. And I will usually start with some kind of training like ropes training or do some PT, physical training, and then, you know, a call will come in and uh, we all get on our gear, hop in an engine or an ambulance and go to the call. And then I basically get paid for those calls. That is too bold. Do the risks of firefighting scare me? To a certain extent, yes. I mean, it would be absolutely devastating if anything happened to me. Or and shout out to all of the firefighters. I mean, listen, you guys, do an amazing job and i know that it's something that's needed in communities but as a as a career as something that you got to call and see if they want you on a team that day and you got to see if the station to take you in and then the danger associated with it and you telling me that you quit a hundred and sixteen thousand dollar job that's cap ain't nothing more cap than that this is all cap all the way across the board i don't think that she could hack it as a lawyer it's something else to the story because nobody quits a $116,000 job just to, by chance, run into Captain Josh from a lightning strike and then take on a, a, a possible $15 an hour when you can get in. That's cap. This is all trash. For my son, and that is something that, that weighs on me, certainly. Um, but frankly, being a, a I, I was predominantly a family. Hey, y'all think that any one of the people in there is busting that down? I'm curious. Law attorney, and that's not a particularly safe career. <laughs> There's a lot of angry people uh, in in family law, and also mentally safe is is something that I have to consider as well. Um, if I'm not doing well mentally, what is my quality of life? What kind of pr parent can I be? So I um, I'm just calling to check in. I know, but she's still doing law, talking about. I'm not built to sit down at a desk and stuff like that. I'm done with that. But then right after that, she's working as an independent family lawyer. Man, if y'all can't read through these modern women and be able to see this BS all day long, this is trash. She is, I, I don't even know why y'all sent me this video. Y'all, I think y'all sent me this video because y'all knew I was going uh, y'all knew I was going to X this chick. You knew I was going to nuke her because this is all trash. So she's not, listen. She's, somebody said it in the chat. They said she's an on-call Uber driver, on-call Uber firefighter. She got a call every day. They don't even call her and find out if she got, if she need them. She calls every day, wait for somebody to probably take a vacation leave and say, hey guys, you need me today? And they say, yeah, you can come in and, and uh, hopefully bust it down. You know what I'm saying? And then she go in and she pretend to be a firefighter and they let her drive the truck, drive the ambulance. And they let her bring her little her little spider monkey son up there to climb on the stuff for the for the cameras. This is trash because she's still sitting in there doing lawyer stuff in her bedroom. What a full time. That you had court today, and I wanted to see how you're feeling and how you feel about uh, the judge's ruling. Currently, as a firefighter, between training and uh, going on calls, uh, it's probably about ten to fifteen hours a week. 
and mm -hmm. then I probably do about another 15 hours a week of lawyering. So it kind of just mashes together to about. A so basically she worked like one, one day a week. Let's be, let's translate that. Cause she probably do a 12 hour shift. She do one day a week firefighting and then, uh, she running in the victim Olympics acting like she doing some lawyer work, bro. No, no lawyer call you after the. No lawyer calls you after the judgment saying, hey, I just wanted to find out how you was doing about the ruling. If anybody has ever worked with a lawyer, you understand that they charge you about an hour and they will charge you a full hour. So cap. Very poorly paid one full time job. No. I don't make very much money in my little, very, very itty bitty tiny law firm. I certainly, if I did it full time, I could make a lot more. My hourly rate as an attorney is $250 an hour. So we're talking apples and oranges in terms of how much money I'm making. Um, but I, I luckily have a, a, a support system. I have a partner who works as a nurse. I knew and, it. Um, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was some munching going on there. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You can't fool me. And I want y'all to tell me which one is the is the uh, more the masculine one. Which one is the more masculine one in y'all opinion? Who's the man? Shout out to John Doe. John Doe says, uh, she says she quit her job as a lawyer for the sake of her mental health. There is no way that running in the courtroom is more mentally draining than running in a burning building. I 1000% agree with you, family. This is all cap, all finesse. I'm going to tell you what really happened. She had a baby daddy. Her baby daddy made her feel some type of way, and he told her to stop running in the victim Olympics and get your ass back in that, in that law firm to make your money. She said, no, I'm going to do what I want to do, and I'm sick of men. That's why she had Nico, single mother, and now she's flipping a script. You know, that's a very stable income, so... That has also given me a lot more flexibility. In and I bet you her real name is Nicole. I would bet money. Listen, I would bet money that her real name is Nicole. Don't sit here and talk about no fucking Nico to me. I know a Nicole when I see one. She looked like a Nicole. Look just like a Nicole. Shout out to Cliff. Cliff says, uh, the firefighter wears the... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Switching God. careers from lawyering Call to firefighting. They said that's when right family law. And I am getting my training to be an EMT. My plan is to, after becoming an EMT, to take the next step and become a paramedic. And then once I have my... This chick want to fucking drive ambulances? I wouldn't even talk to this chick. Yo, fam. You ain't even got to worry about it because she, she got a girlfriend now, so... Medics license, I will be in a good position to get a full time firefighting job in a station. No, it depends on overtime, it does depend on location and experience. You're right. Uh, she says she want to be a gangster, <laughs> dog. I, this is all whack. This is all whack. This is a chick that want to be a man so bad. She want to wear pants. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all the truth about men. And I tell y'all the truth about men. No man, I'm going to be honest with you. Well, I'm not going to say no men because you can't say definitively anything. Most men are doing the hard jobs that they're doing because they don't have any other choice. No guy wants to go in and blow his back out every day. No guy wants to go in and put his life on the line as a as a police officer every day. No guy wants to go and be a, a CEO every day. They doing it because they have to, or they doing it because it's an opportunity for them to get out of the situation they in. Most people that I've talked to that I've coached that say that they joined the military, they said they joined the military because of the benefits and because they ain't have no other option. And then they benefit as a result of it, but no man is doing it because they have to. And when you see a chick that's overcompensating and it makes me, it almost reminds me of a, uh, Shout out to Jordan Smith. He says, single mom epidemic, co-parent economy. She definitely getting ran through. Facts. No, listen, when you see a woman that do stuff like this, for me, this looks like overcompensation. This reminds me of a man that says that he wants to be a woman. And you know how he overcompensates? He overswitches. He over wears the purse like this. 
and women don't even do that. And he, every single thing he says is honey on the back of it. This reminds me of that. This reminds me of overcompensation, but on the back end. Uh, Gayla Knight says she used him to get the baby and don't really like men. Cap. She used to like men. And then he told her to lose some weight because he was watching Kevin Samuels. And Kevin Samuels says the average woman weighs more than men. And this is what you see. This is what happened for it. For real, Gail, that's what happened. Um, Jay Ben says, here's some dressing money for this word salad vid. For real. She is doing nothing but finessing us, giving us all of this extra. And that is not an accurate. This, I know what the truth is. I can get it out of her. She a bad lawyer. She can't lie that good. And the highest um, taxes, and it costs you the most. My advice for people who are considering changing careers, I think that you have to pursue your passion. I don't think that it's healthy for Wrong. humans to do Wrong. something just for money. I think that you have And this is coming from a woman that lived with her parents, with a, with a child, that couldn't stay with the, with the man that she had a kid with. This is literally coming from a woman that lives with her fucking parents on a 200 acre estate T telling you to follow your passion, follow your dreams. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you do it. Fuck your feelings. You go get that bag. Go get that bag. Have to find something that makes you feel vibrant makes you feel excited that is engaging that makes you feel like you're doing something good i did everything i was supposed to do i went to college i went to law waste school, the money waste the, the money first shot i got married i had a kid i knew it i knew it i knew it I knew it <laughs> <laughs> She got married, had a kid, and got divorced. I'm telling you. And now she on that other side. Because what happens is, let me tell y'all what really happens. Let me tell you what really happens. What happens is they hit the wall. They hit the wall. And then they're no longer, uh, they realize that they was talking sassy. Okay, well, you're not going to talk to me any old kind of way. And then they wind up carpet munching. I'm telling you. I'm taking my son. I'm raising him to be more feminine as a single mom. I'm going to live back with my parents. Skip this job. I'm getting divorced. Now she over here talking to another nurse and she working part time, making $43,000 a year in California. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I can spot them a mile away. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, if you can't see and, and be able to translate through body language of exactly what it is that you're dealing with and be, be able to tell you exactly. That's why I, be, I keep telling y'all, you kn I know what a woman is all about within 15 minutes of talking to her. I was able to see exactly what this chick's blueprint was way before she ever said any of this. All you got to do is pay attention to the context clues. Guys, you don't know a woman over the next two years. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I knew her within the first two minutes. I could tell that chick wasn't supposed to be here in this club in the first place. Get that hoe home. She out of she out of order. I'm telling you. I did all of those things and I still wasn't happy. Even though I'm still baby, 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 junior, junior, junior firefighter, I, I want to I get to that happy. point where I am able to take it on as a as a career. As nah, a talk about that man that you left and you was married to. Look at that chick. Bag of bricks coming through. I would really like to be able to throw myself into firefighting completely and really move. And don't say she just wanted a baby either because you don't get married because you just want a baby. Nope, I'm not going for it. I knew it right away. Away from the lawyering in overnight, but it's, it's just not practical, it's not feasible. I want to end my career as a lawyer and begin my career as a firefighter in a responsible way a way that doesn't hurt my clients because I care about them very much and also allows me to really get the training that I need to become a really good firefighter. Yo, red flags all over this. Listen, you can identify a certain type of modern woman no matter where you at, no matter what type of video. It could be a money video. I was trying to figure out why she went from making $116,000 a year to $15 an hour as a part-time firefighter. I knew it. Shout out to Razik. My uncle, before he passed, he used to always tell me, you can learn a lot from a dummy. Real talk.
This is a red flag if I've never seen it before. Julian says, thanks for chilling out on the potty mouth. I'm listening on speaker from a couple of tears up on a scaffold. Tools in my hand. I can't move. Customer window all open. <laughs> y'all better get some AirPods. Real talk. Anton is out here talking. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going I'm to clean it up. Anton is not going to be cussing as much any fucking more, okay? Real talk. All right, that was the last time. I'm sorry. I see one. You ain't going to trick me out of my draws. Nope. I knew it. And they still be wanting D. No matter how much munching they do, they still be wanting a D. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. Listen, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all tap in. Go and get your tickets to Lapeef. I'm going to be there on the 5th and the 6th. It's a two-day event. Go to any Lapeef video. Click the link in the description. Get your tickets. I'm going to be there. Um, and I am still trying to figure out this whole stand completely. I'm building a studio. We doing build a business. We got a lot going on. So Anton is out here moving and shaking and taking care of business, but I'm trying to figure out what city I want to live in at least for two weeks or the rest of August possibly, but we going to have that conversation. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me and tapping in. Um, I'm going to holler at you guys later. I need you to do me one more favor before you get up out of here though. Make sure you tell your family and friends. Um, we don't want to be successful by ourselves. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Q&A tonight. Peace.